although the province starts as a small nation which borders France, England and Burgundy, it has the potential to become the strongest nation in the whole Europe. Its mission tree provides an opportunity to peel half of Europe. In this video, I will show you how to play as Provence. As usual, let's start with privileges. Grant mana privileges, grant religious diplomats, also grant clerical education and take Parker loans. As your rival choose Brittany, Genoa and third rival is up to you. Also seize land and let's check out advisors. If you see the panic reputation one, take him. And now about starting diplomatic situation. I won't sugarcoat it, you might need to restart. Specifically if Pope rivals you. It's not necessary of course, it's not, but it would be a lot better if you could ally it on the start. First there will be no excommunications, that means you won't need to buy indulgence, spend your money. And a second, not to be greedy in the first wars, also very important, you will get this province for free. And if you are not allied, you would need to fight Pope. Also sometimes, I've personally seen it, sometimes France starts friendly to you. Sometimes. If this is the case, you can royal marry it. Why royal marry? Because if you royal marry it, it won't declare on you until the royal marriage ends. But you will also take a stability hit if you declare on friends, so be careful. And I would recommend to restart if Castile doesn't start as rival to Aragon. So what I would recommend first, what I would recommend, is if you can royal marry Austria, the first thing you should do. Uh, next check Castile, if you can at least try to royal marry it. You can do it, you can try. So I already see if we scornfully insult Castilian rival, maybe Aragon, we would be able to royal marry it. Okay, let's wait. And Royal America still. When you Royal Mary some nation, you will 100% be able to alight later. And if you can alight the Papal State, you may need to scornfully insult its rival if you don't have the magic reputation advisor, but generally it's easy to alight. So it seems we can finish the first mission, negotiate for Avignon. As I see it was because of one here, but you just need to improve relations to 150. It is quite easy. After you do this, Pope will give you this points. I recommend to delete fort here, because it is useless and it is expensive. And you would also get some claims on southern France. So I power France and Burgundy. France will 100% break alliance with you. I don't know why it still hasn't, but it will, believe me. And Burgundy usually rivals you. And also about Brittany. If you have free diplomat, you might start build Spencer on Brittany, but speaking from experience, it almost always allies some big nation. Castile, Burgundy, England, whatever. You won't be able to conquer it, mostly. I would also recommend to move your troops from Anjou to Toulon, while France is friendly to you. As for military access, also just outlining the possibility. If France won't break alliance with you, you can reconquer your core men from England. I won't because friendly France is quite rare. I would say 9 out of 10 times it will break alliance with you. And because of this as guide, I will break alliance with it. So as I see we can ally Castile, let's do it. Castile is usually great ally for Provence. Same as Austria. Now when you have three diplomats, you might start building spy networks. On Genoa and maybe on Brittany, maybe. If it doesn't have strong allies. Well, to be honest, I don't know why it started friendly to us. But once again, speaking from experience, it might be possible to ally it if you improve relations. Let's set attitude to friends to hostile and let's try to find rivals of friends. Maybe now I will ally Burgundy and also improve relations with Austria. You needed to enter the HRE. For now, you can also hire three advisors. I wouldn't worry about running out of money if uh, the deficit is too big, you can just most ball all words. For now, you don't need to conquer anything. When you have enough of admin mana, move your capital somewhere here. In one of these two provinces. I will move it here, in Toulon. Oh, and also about Savoy. Yes, it frequently gets excommunicated right at the start. But first, it's in HRE and you're not. That means that Austria might defend it. Usually it hates Savoy, so it doesn't, but sometimes it does. And also Savoy usually finds some strong allies. Like Castile, Aragon, maybe sometimes France. So it may be not possible to do it right away. But if you can declare on it, declare with excommunicated ruler and you can vassalize it, not take provinces. You will take a lot less aggressive expansion. Let's fabricate claim on Genoa. I recommend to fabricate claim maybe not on Corsica, but either on Albenga or Genoa. Let's fabricate on Genoa. Not on Corsica, because usually Genoa has quite big trade league and their navy will be a lot better than you can afford. So if you make Corsica your war target, you won't be able to occupy it, unless you lie Aragon. I improved relations with Austria, now we can join the HRE. Just improve relations and move your capital near HRE. Now that if we are in HRE, it means we can declare on Italian nations. So as I see Genoa allied Venice, I can say that it's not really typical. Not really. Usually Genoa allies either Austria or France. 
So to finish your first mission, the claims on King Rene, you must either have 100 development or conquer Corsica. You might be able to call in France into war against England early, which would be ideal but it's quite rare, believe me. Also Salusa, Brittany and Savoy might be good targets, or maybe even Genoa if it hasn't allied any Tron. So right now I think I will fabricate claims on Brittany and Salusa, and let's check out alliances of Savoy. Well, we can try to declare later, but we need to carry favors. Use your allies to win wars. By yourself, you're quite weak. Okay, maybe let's not fabricate on Brittany, but carry favors. Maybe with Austria. Oh, and by the way, we won't be able to call in Austria against HRE members. That's the rule of HRE. Emperor can't help ally against HRE member. So it seems we might be able to call in Burgundy and the Papal State against Genoa. So it really doesn't matter what you conquer for your first mission. I just see that I can try to conquer Genoa, which should be good enough. I could also conquer Savoy, but the problem is that it's allied to Aragon. Although by the way, might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. I think for now it's a better target. You just need to get 16 more development, I think, around so. You can even do that by developing, but conquest is better. Then first with Castile, and I will declare, I think, on Savoy. Yes, we will have truce with Aragon, but that might be even good, yes, that might be even good. That means Castile won't be able to declare on it. Oh, they forgot one very important thing, free company. We didn't hire it at first because there was no need, but now it is necessary. Maybe let's uh, make our ruler general and just each. Okay, I will white piece Aragon, or maybe, let's see, maybe I will break its alliances. Oh, they don't have strong alliances, okay, let's just white piece. If they do and you guard on their ally, break their alliances. It is important because later you will declare on Aragon. Anyway, in the first war, I would recommend to not be greedy, because soon you will take whole southern Italy. I'll take just two provinces to connect to Genoa. Let's finish one more mission, the claims of King René. It will give you 100 years to be your Naples. Also about warning about Naples and about timing overall, I would recommend to conquer provinces or Corsica or whatever to finish uh, this mission, the claims of King René, in the first 10 years. Just as a general rule, do not uh, waste your time, you need to rush Naples. You might ask why and the answer is simple, because if you don't, first it might ally some strong nations like Austria or France, it regularly does, it almost always does, it just takes some time, and second, if Aragon falls under PU of Castile, first it will be more difficult to PU Aragon, but that's just a minor thing, but more importantly, Castile would be able to PU Naples. It will complicate things, believe me. Anyway, let's uh, declare with the generation of Union. It seems Naples was released recently. And by the way, in theory, it's possible that Aragon doesn't release it. In such case, you will get not PU on it, but course, which is also quite good actually. I think you would be able to conquer almost all Naples. Also, word of warning, don't clean Papal States into war against Naples. It wants its lands and that can mess up your PU. I think I will delete Ford in Andrew, because it's not that useful and I don't have money. Also, I would recommend to PU Naples and start improving relations with nations that can join the coalition. That's why I said not to be greedy in the first wars. Take maximum one or two provinces, uh, because PU Naples will give you a lot of aggressive expansion. I mean, a lot. So let's peace out, uh, let's take some money from Luca, some transfer trade power, some reparations. Do not take non co nations, because aggressive expansion will be uh, really bad. So uh, let's take union with Naples. And don't forget to take some money. No coalition will form because we have truce with Luca and uh, we will peace out on 31st December. So crazy expansion is going to be reduced a little. So now you can also finish the King of Naples. Don't worry, you'll get CB to be your Aragon for 100 years. That's more than enough. And I would also recommend to do it ASAP, to declare ASAP, before Castile has taken it as its PU. If it does, it will be a lot more difficult to steal Aragon. Try not to conquer much from now and uh, start improving relations with Naples ASAP. If your ruler dies while you have negative relations with Naples, it will stop being your PU, it will break off. And uh, let's develop Naples a little, so it becomes loyal. It does have some good points to develop. And don't forget to grant strong duchess. Now you have two subjects. Lorraine and Naples. As the next government reform might take uh, this one, for more favors, might be useful. And by the way, it's quite a miracle that Burgundy hasn't broken our alliance. Believe me, usually it won't allow you in the first place. Well, it is possible, but it really depends on RNG and on its rivals. Here I guess it's because we both rival England and Aragon, which makes AI more friendly to us. You also may use your light ships to protect trade in Genoa. Our truce with Aragon has ended, but I think I'll wait for Castile. It has almost ended its war. Usually I would be happy, but 
Our ruler is already quite old, so I need to get an heir ASAP. Well, we have a lot of royal marriages, so I think it would work. Okay, let's declare an Aragon, calling Castile, calling Papal State. I could also call him Burgundy, but it would be already too easy. Oh, by the way, very good event. I want to make sure that I occupy the capital. I think Castile will transfer it to us, but you never know. And by the way, the Shadow Kingdom. A very good event. Basically, all Italian nations that aren't allied to Austria will leave the HRE. Why is it good? First, when you conquer HRE provinces, you will get more aggressive expansion. Uh, so after Shadow Kingdom, you won't get as much collisions. And uh, by the way, about collisions, you should also do this with Aragon. Union with Aragon and check out who will join. I think a lot. Yeah, a lot. And start improving. Or maybe let's even higher improve relations advisor. And also the Shadow Kingdom is good, because now you would be able to call in Austria against Italian nations. For example, if Genoa is allied to France, now you would be able to call in Austria and beat France together. Let's check out who left HRE. Almost whole Italy. As first government reform, you might want to take influence. Diplomatic is also good, but Provence is just meant to be played with influence. And let's peace out Aragon. Obviously take union with Aragon and some money. I could take more actually, but I'm afraid Castile may soon peace out. They already have quite high war exhaustion, so why wait for the next year? Uh, yes, friends might enter the coalition, it might. Uh, by the way, someone broke our alliance. Castile, I see, I see. It might, but it shouldn't. I think we have uh, less than four nations in coalition. Uh, Venice, Genoa and France. If coalition consists of uh, less than four members, it won't form. And the same as with Naples, we need to improve relations ASAP. I won't finish this mission yet, because after this we would get Union on Hungary. But we can finish the King of Sicily. And uh, get claims on Jerusalem. Oh, and also I think I should tell you that if you have an opportunity, it's not my tree, but you might want to take Sardinia and flip to Sardinian culture. Uh, why? To form Sardinia Pitmont. It's not necessary at all, but if you want to, it's better to do it as soon as possible. The bigger you grow, the more income you will lose by changing your culture. And that's why I'm saying it's impossible to conquer Brittany. Burgundy won't support it, but now it allied friends. Somehow. And Aragon is finally friendly to me. That means is that if the good King Rene dies, the Aragon will remain provincial. Let's embrace Renaissance. Get me attack. Also for some reason Castile is once again friendly to us. Well, yes, uh, Burgundy has broken our alliance somehow, somehow, well, it was understandable. Although it is possible to get Burgundian inheritance. So we can once again ally Burgundy by doing this, I think. Sell provinces to them. Surprisingly, it worked. Let's roll Mary and continue proving. Also, we can ally Castile. Let's do it. And it seems we can declare Hungary with ease. Yeah, we can. We can. Uh, so I think right now I will lower Austrian opinion of Hungary. I would destabilize Austria, that means that they have good relations with Hungary. If nations will be destabilized, it means that they either have military access, a real marriage or good relations. Let's reduce opinion of Hungary. Hmm, they have very good relations, might not even work. No, it won't. Okay, then I will move uh, my troops somewhere here. Oh, it seems Poland has declared in Hungary. Okay, quite good, quite good. Now I just need to rush to their capital. Uh, let's finish the mission, the King of Aragon. Don't finish it too early, just because Hungary might get beat by Austria. Or might ally Austria. Okay, let's ask for military access. Because also Poland has declared we need to rush to Hungarian capital. Who gets the capital? Gets the PU. As first achievability, I will take justified wars for less aggressive expansion. And let's see where is Poland. Good question. Yes, they declared with unification war. Once again, don't forget to improve relations. We have some time. I think uh, Poland won't rush. As next government reform, take representatives of the crown. To save money on fort maintenance, you can uh, give words to your subjects. You can always take them back. So Hungary has already capitulated, but I would still like to improve a little bit more. Just a little. I don't want any collision to actually appear, because it would be quite painful. Because France will enter it, and then it would be difficult to declare on France. If you want to stack diplomatic annexation cost, which is a very good thing to do as province, you can take administrative as your next as a group. Took some time, but coalition should be okay now. Let's Take money, peace out, uh, 600 targets, not bad. Now we are at war with Poland, but we can call in our allies, which I will do. Let's repay our loans. So, it is quite rare that Poland declares on Hungary, so I won't demand from Poland too much, because I understand that it is RNG. This Hungary sometimes may be viewed by Austria, sometimes, not always. If it is, there is a very good other target called France. I could declare, but I wanted to call in all of my allies. Okay, now we are the king of Hungary, plus 10 Mercenary discipline, quite good. Also, it's already time to start improving relations with Lorraine. 
Well, the time was a few years ago, but I didn't have enough diplomats. Okay, yes, uh, France entered the military coalition, not good, but we'll survive. Okay, let's just avoid peace plant, no need to do anything. Let's also see the land. And now we have quite unloyal subjects. Listen, I understand. I understand this is a guide, I know. I peeled Austria, and I will save scum. I was just like, it's not uh, that you can repeat, but just something cool. Uh, anyway, I will just uh, save scum because it's yeah, it's too much. Okay, let's just white peace Poland. And for some reason, nations have left the military coalition. But still, that's quite good. So it doesn't matter if you declare Hungary first or on France, you can just ignore Hungary. It just wasn't under PU of Austria, so I thought it was a good idea. With this set of allies, it would be quite easy to win, just with cannon fodder. Uh, Hungary is unloyal, I'm not surprised. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to develop it. It is the best way to make uh, PUs loyal. You don't have much land, uh, maybe by the time you declare on Hungary you would conquer something from France, but not a guarantee. So to make PUs loyal, which can, can uh, support a loyalist, have good relations with them and develop. Well, yes, it worked. It worked, it worked, yes. Uh, how did it work, you might ask? The answer is simple. It worked because I sold a land to Burgundy. Uh, it stopped being hostile and I could roll merit. But it's a very risky tactic, so if you're a beginner, definitely don't do this. There is no guarantee that you would get it, and there is no even guarantee that you could roll merit. It would be 100% possible to get it by annexing the rain and selling its land to Burgundy, but that's also risky. By the way, for some reason, Brandenburg is emperor. I don't know what's going on here, but okay. I just hope he will win against France. One second. Yes, Brandenburg is Emperor. Okay, to be honest, no chance in hell I can make Burgundy loyal uh, with only two states. But it doesn't really matter. No need to make Burgundy loyal. Sounds weird, but it's true. Okay, let's fight peace Brandenburg, I don't need no wars. Once again, don't take any promises from non belligerents but you can take some money. Uh, so, by the way, how did I know that I couldn't develop Burgundy, that it won't work? You see, there is a cap on developed provinces. And considering that Burgundy has like plus 400 liberty desire, just developing won't work here. No, it won't. We need to grow our land and annex some subjects, at minimum. But for Burgundy, specifically, only for Burgundy, it doesn't matter. It would matter if I, for example, PU'd Hungary and it was big. I will break Breton alliance uh, with France. For patience, maybe some money, let's check. Yeah, why not? So, in the first war against France, it's actually not a big deal if you won't expand much. Just retake your course. Maybe you could retake men right at the start by declaring on England. But once again, it's very random. So, except your course, you can take two provinces. Uh, one to release Toulouse, one to release Gascony. These two are not bad, you can also take maybe something more developed, but I don't want to get more aggressive expansion. It also depends if you've done it after Hungary or before. If you declared on France before Hungary, you can also take a little bit more provinces for yourself, something that you want to conquer for your vessels. Or maybe take a few more provinces to release more vessels, like Champagne is not bad, uh, there are other releasables you can check at their course, you might also break some alliances. To be honest, I don't want to take more, because I want to declare on France as soon as possible next time. So why is it not important to keep Burgundy loyal, you might ask? You will integrate it for free anyway, that's why. Also, you need to start annexing your PUs ASAP. You can annex Lorraine by 1481, I think, but I was busy with the wars, that's why I didn't. But you should if you can. Okay, let's start integrating. Should be cheap. Also, you need to integrate Lorraine for your missions. Uh, next one should be Naples. 1505. Now we also have some money, we can start finishing this right branch. We need to build some cathedrals. By the way, to integrate Burgundy, don't do anything, don't declare on anyone. You need to be at peace. Also, by the way, you don't need alliance uh, to inherit Burgundy. Just royal marriage. Alliance, I think, will increase the chances, but if Burgundy hates France and Austria, or actually Emperor, it will choose you anyway. But if it allied someone big, like Sweden, it might choose them instead, so it's quite random. Okay, let's, I think, first release Gascony. Toulouse has cores on both these provinces, so I need to first release Gascony so Toulouse doesn't take his core. And let's release Toulouse. Lorraine is integrated, don't worry about this debuff. After you finish this mission, it will go away, and you get plus 10 improved relations. Yes, no integration debuff. And we can finish a mission, join the Empire. And we can finish the mission, sponsor the arts. And buff Toulon. Now we need to develop this province to 30. Might be not easy. I developed some provinces in Provence, and now we can finish one more mission, develop Provence. I couldn't integrate Burgundy, but it's better and to declare on France earlier than later. Yeah, let's go everyone, and let's go. You have 40 years since getting Burgundy to integrate it, and you can't integrate while at war. And the average time to integrate is 15 years. Oh, by the way, France has built a fort in Paris. I don't know why, but usually they don't. Interesting why they did. Anyways, next, Gamachi form take plus one diplomat. 
and yes, start improving relations with your vessels immediately, so you can annex them right after the war. Well, to be honest, once you get going and get a Naples and Aragon, the Provence game is very, very easy. Even without allies, my Pius would be able to win without me. Okay, let's peace out, just reconquer tools and Gascon course. Let's take some money. No, okay, no need to wait more. And because I improved, we, I can annex them right away. But don't forget to click this Papal Interaction, send Papal Legate uh, for cheaper annexation, and grant for more privilege, nobility integration policy. Preferably only when you start annexing someone big. Because if you grant it too early, it would be hell to make Hungary or Aragon loyal. I will also conquer Brittany before it found any allies. Okay, perfect, let's annex it. You maybe even could annex it early, but really it doesn't matter. And now technically we can start expanding into Italy uh, to get that sweet general trade note. But I would wait to first integrate Burgundy. Gascony is annexed and Toulouse is also annexed. We can add Burgundy to HRE. Okay, why not? I just need it uh, to be annexed. Let's also start integrating Naples. And that's what I was waiting for. Uh, so, yes, even if Burgundy is extremely unloyal, if it's supported by whole Europe, but it's not independent and it hasn't become independent, this event will fire. So, subtract 10 years from this date and from the result, take away 20 years. That's when you want to not go to any wars and maybe you even want to back up your save and make sure that even if 40 years pass you can just load the old save okay now we are great power number one yeah very easy uh so so uh, once again once again i just want to confirm not guarantee that you can take burgundy and it's actually quite risky but if you are willing to live without uh, 20 development you can try to sell those provinces to burgundy and maybe even sell lorraine to burgundy and you will then 100% chance be able to ally it. Don't worry, you will get the provinces back. Okay, uh, now let's talk about what to do next. Well, first, there are a few more realizables in France, Champagne, for example, but you already can start conquering provinces for yourself without realizables. Uh, don't forget to finish your mission tree, very important, especially this mission, King of Kings. Try to keep your PUs happiest, integrate them, and don't forget to do it, very important. And basically beat up friends. After that, after you beat up friends, you can start expanding into Italy. And basically expand it to both France and Italy. And about Italy. So you could form France, in theory. But I think forming first Sardinia Piedmont, uh, that's why I said to change your culture to Sardinian, yes, before you stated all your new provinces, because uh, then you would need to unstate them and court them once again, which is of course very expensive. And after Sardinia Piedmont you can form Italy. I think it's better formable than France. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, hope you liked this video, if you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.